Hey, good day everyone. I've got this infrared thermometer here from Vever for an unboxing and review. Here's everything that came in the box. Got the batteries, the thermometer, and the directions. All right, now for the batteries, it's super easy. Just flip this little, push that little tab in and flip it up. And the batteries go right down there in the handle. There's two double A's. Okay, I got the batteries in there. And then just to turn it on, it's just a, a pull of the trigger like that. You can see that comes up. Kind of get out of the sunlight here so you can see the screen better. So it's just to, to operate it. You see this laser on the uh, on the ground there. Okay, it gives it an, uh, gives it the Celsius there. We'll go through the functions of this thing here now. This is just after initial turn on. There you go. Six degrees Celsius is the ground. Okay, so as far as the, uh, the functions of this thing and the, the different characteristics of it. All right, so as far as the appearance on this thing, the infrared emitter, that's what that is right there. And then the LCD, of course the LCD display, which is really nice, it's back here. And then the, uh, they call this the, uh, the set key. And then up here you've got, you got min and, and max. You know, it's basically the average and then um, the laser control key, that is right here, that middle one, that's the laser control key. Turn that on, push that. Push that button, you can see the lasers on it. Okay, so there, if you want the laser on, want the laser off you just put that push that middle button and you see the laser won't turn on you want the laser on and you pull the trigger see how that works again no laser don't want the laser on and then when you push the button the laser comes on and stays on but then you just push the trigger to turn it off and now it'll come back on when you pull the trigger too I kind of like the laser you got your you got your up and down functions there. Of course, down the center of this thing, that's the laser transmitter there, and they just call that the measurement trigger. Here's a description of the LCD display. It goes through what each thing means on the screen there, on this screen right here, and what each thing is. Okay, if you notice on here that E equals point nine five, what that is is the default setting for emissivity. So what is emissivity? That's the ability of an object to radiate infrared rays. The greater the emissivity, the stronger the radiation ability of the object surface. So really, you don't even need to know that. Um, but what you want to do is, is set that to the appropriate thing that you're looking at, like the base metal or material that you're looking at, I should say. So it has a, a setting for reference uh, on the radiance of each one. You know, if you're going to measure aluminum, it gives a setting for it, nickel alloy, hastaloy, you know, even things like basalt, asphalt, nickel alloy, quite a bit of different, quite a few different metals on here, uh, clay, gravel, pottery. So there, you know, it has a, a little bit different setting that you want to, you want to change this to on there, depending on what you're going to measure, what material you're going to measure. Okay, this has a function on it where you can set the alarm, where the alarm will go off. Uh, when it reaches a certain temperature or it falls below a certain temperature, you can set that, uh, the high or low on there. And you just do that. It gives the directions on how to do that here. You know, you press the long press the set key. Then when the value flashes, you press the up or down key to set the required alarm value. And pull the trigger to save the setting. The buzzer sounds an alarm when measured temperature exceeds the set value. And same thing for the low. And for setting the emissivity, uh, long press the set key to enter the setting. Okay, there's the set key right there. There's the set key right there. Long press on that. And then you'll switch it to the, the E em emissivity setting. Then the instrument emissivity flashes. Then you enter and press the up or down button key for the setting that you want for your required value. Then you pull the trigger to save that back setting. to... So we, we long press the cell, the set key till we got to the Celsius that blinks and then I just push the down. You can also push the, the up to go back to Celsius. I'm gonna stick with Fahrenheit 
and then you just pull the trigger to set it. So now we're in Fahrenheit. Go ahead and check the surface temperature of this file cabinet. It's metal. It's uh, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, let's check the temperature of a cooktop. So right now, for starters, cooktop is 70 degrees. Turned it on. Went from 70 to 134 really quick. There we go, 165 already. 206 degrees. 222. 261. That heats up so quick. This gives you an appreciation for how fast a cooktop heats up. I'm going to press it again. 340 degrees. 340 I never realized how hot these things were actually get. So that's already up to 834 degrees Fahrenheit. Over 900 degrees. Wow. Okay, while we're at it, let's check the temperature of the, uh, the ice pack here. We'll just check the temperature of the, uh, the cooktop. Minus 16 degrees. Check the temperature of these frozen peas here. Those are looking good. Minus 12 and a half. Back to the cooktop here. We're almost at a thousand degrees. Okay, let's see if this thing will check the temperature of the water. Cold. Thirty-nine degrees. See, there's the temperature of the, the bowl on the outside, which is warmer. Move it to the water there. It's actually warmed up just a little bit. Thirty-nine degrees. Okay, let's try the hot. See how hot the hot water gets. There's the sink bowl there, about fifty degrees. There's the hot water. You can check the temperature of the water coming out of your faucet as well. This is great. See, this would be a good tool to use to verify your hot water heater, your hot water heater setting, and then what, what the actual is coming out of the, the spigot. We're at 100, 102, 103 there. Pretty cool. Nice to be able to check that. This thing has a number of uses, too many to list. If you need one, this is a, a real easy one to use and uh, it's affordable as well. So check it out. I'll put the link in the description of the video if you want to order one. They're real nice to have. All right, thanks for watching everybody.